Hey guys, James and Mark here with another mukbang. If you guys are new to our channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Happy New Year! Happy 2020! You said something earlier um, that we're closer to 2050 than we are to 1990. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's, that's just wild. But uh, we're back with another mukbang and we're doing something a little different. We are doing a ninja foodie series. So what that means is we're gonna cook whatever we can in our nin ninja foodie. Mm -hmm. uh, what is a ninja foodie? I think it is a combination of a pressure cooker and an air fryer in one. Is yeah. that right? I think you heard me say it over and over when I've been telling our So friends. I've been listening. You've been telling people that I'm not a good listener <laughs> and I, I got that answer correct. It's like Instant Pot mm -hmm. and an air fryer in one machine. So mm -hmm. I'm sure you appreciate that because uh, you blame me for buying a lot of kitchen ga gadgets and we don't have enough like storage space. So yeah. at least with this, it's just one machine. It's with... massive. It looks like something that you would send out in orbit. But it's better than having two separate oh, machines, right? Oh, yeah, for right? sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, and we've only used it about two times, three times? Two or three times, like, yeah. Mainly with chicken wings, and one time you made uh, kare kare. Yeah. But that's about it. And so we said, you know what? This year, 2020, fresh start, we're going to try to use that gadget a little bit more. Yeah. We're having bosam, which mm. is Korean pork belly wraps. Yeah, um, really, yeah. So Mark made everything that you guys see here. You know what? I was kind of nervous because I only know how to make this in a like a stock pot. Yeah. But I didn't know how to time it. But I think um, I took a sneak bite in earlier. Okay. It cooked well. It was it easier to make? Well, it took less time oh, okay. in the pressure cooker, yeah. And we're not sponsored by Ninja Foodie, by the way. But if, you, if you're interested, you know, hit us <laughs> up. You know where to reach us. Why don't you walk us through how to make the wrap? Sure. Um, I like to eat it with fresh lettuce instead of the pickled uh, cabbage. Okay. So just pick a piece or two. Okay. And then you're you're beginning to like these perilla leaves, huh? Perilla leaves, or are they also sesame leaves? Sesame leaves, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then all these uh, pork belly is some pork gorgeous. Belly. Guys, and then look some at that. of the radish. Got a nice like brown um, skin. Yeah. Is that from the coffee grinds that I saw you Coffee add? and then uh, some soybean paste. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh Ooh. yeah, that's an oyster right there. Maybe a little bit more of this. And what's this uh, sauce back here? It's salted shrimp and then I added some red pepper flake 
and um, green onions and garlic. Mm. So add some in here too. Okay, and then is this where I unhinge my jaw and just like put it all in? You know how to do it. Okay, so wrap it up really tightly and... I wonder if we should time this because every time we eat this, we just sit here and go, why don't you go first? <laughs> uh, time lapse it. How about that? Okay, fine. That sounds mm. good. Mmm. Mm. Mm, the oyster is good too, huh? How did the pork look? Mm? It's super tender. I can't believe you did that in how many ever minutes that was. Yeah, because traditionally if you use like a pot, um, you need to cook it for at least an hour, hour and a half. But we just had to pressure cook this for, I think I did 14, 14 minutes, 12 mm -hmm. minutes, I don't remember. It did it. that thing where it needed to build pressure and then the time went right, on. So, so we cooked it for, I think 12, I don't remember, 12, 14 minutes. And then, um, but it, I think it was an additional 10 minutes to build up pressure. Mm. So add those two together. I don't know. <laughs> like 25 minutes? Okay. Yeah? Mm. Versus hour, hour and a half. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right? A, that's a huge time saver. Yeah. Though, I'm going to be honest, I felt like we were in the kitchen all morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how I feel when I cook. Sometimes... Let, let's get the beer going and then you you'll know, forget. Sometimes, like, I'm other mukbangs, like, I cook something and then magically it's plated. You're like, oh, I just need to set up the camera. Mm. Now you saw how much time no, it took. I know. Because... If oh. anything, um, we started at like 10.30 this morning. I was like, good, we're going to finish by like noon. It's almost two in the afternoon. <laughs> so we're drinking one of our other favorite cream beer cloud. Again, not sponsored. Actually, I had someone um, hit me up on Instagram and they said, what Korean beers do you suggest? And I think I forgot to mention cloud. I only said height, OB, and Kos. Mm. Those are the only ones, but I forgot about cloud. Cheers. Oh, it oh tastes my. so good after cooking, huh? Oh. Mm. I think I briefly oh. went into like a moment of pure ecstasy. You know, let's try one without the lettuce okay. just to see how tender it is. And I want you to tell me and compare and contrast with um, the last time I cooked this in a normal pot versus the Ninja Foodie. Got it. Mmm. Because the fat part just melts in your mouth, but the meat part of the pork belly is still has that meat bite to it, huh? Perfect. I was gonna say just ex exactly what you just said. Perfect. It's like the best of two textures. Mmm. Okay. Will, uh, will we use our ninja foodie to make this dish from now on? I think it makes sense. Yeah. Right? Save time. And you only used one pot. Mm hmm. So, well, the other thing, you use one pot too. <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out here, but how much uh, pork belly did you buy? Oh, I think this was about uh, two and a half pounds, maybe. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is keto, too. We're not eating any rice, and everything here is low carb. So, yeah. make me skinny, pork belly. <laughs> I don't think you understand how keto works. Make me skinny. Come here, little shrimp sauce. Come here, little pork belly. Mmm. 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 This one's better than the first one. I make you a wrap. Mmm. I think some of you like us um, doing that, huh? Yeah. When you eat something like this though, you really do forget that there's no like rice or carbs. You kind of don't need it. Mm -mm. No. Okay. <sighs> Are you ready? Oh, excuse me. A little, little like... Money pouch? Yeah. <laughs> Is yeah. this for the new year? Give me more money. <laughs> Don't eat the money. Okay. Ah. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I don't recall you ever making me a wrap. Is this the first time? Mm. It's a sign of affection when you do this to each other. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if you get the ratio right. No, you made me nervous. <laughs> Whatever. If it's salty, you can still have to be with me anyways. I don't know about the the rap part though. But then again, you're like Kirby. You could just go <gasps> and then everything will. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that was kind of fun. I kind of felt like I was at the zoo and I'm just like. <laughs> Mm, mm. Oh. What animal? Did I, th- I, remember? I don't know. I thought of like a giraffe, but maybe I, maybe that's just because we've been talking about giraffes lately. Are giraffes herbivores? Mm-hmm. They do. They just eat the trees, mm-hmm. right? I think we're going to have a lot of leftover meat. Let's just finish it. This is low carb. Guilt, ah. Guilt-free eating. I, you did a phenomenal job on the oyster sushi. Oh, do we need more oyster? I think, I mean, we'll just do what we can here. Because um, when I first had this dish, I think I almost liked that more than the pork belly. Mm. But then I, over time, I started appreciating the that they need to rely on each other to make this dish like the bomb, you know? Yeah, like, like us. I'm the oyster to your pork. Belly. Why am I the pork belly? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the aphrodisiac of your life. Mm. I don't know if I'm eating this right, but it feels like I'm not breathing for like five seconds. <laughs> you know what? The, um, Nutrients in the pork belly and the lettuce is giving you oxygen, so you don't need to breathe. Mm. No, it literally feels like the, you know, right before you go into water, you go, <gasps> like, I feel like I have that for five seconds because I just have to brace myself for the huge wrap. Uh, baby, mm. what is your New Year's resolution? We haven't even talked about this. Well, oh, that's a... I mean, we're already a few days in, and it's not giving up alcohol <laughs> or eating healthier or making better. Fi- Those are like the top ones or making better financial decisions. I kind of just want to experience life more. How about this? Is that uh, possible? No, those are all really great resolutions. And I, I think if you were to ask me, it would be similar. Specific goals. You know how smart goals mm. as a specific, right? Like be financially like whatever or eat healthy those are so broad like right. what do you mean by that right 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 so how so what are some of your specific resolutions are resolutions necessarily like can they be goals like what They're if it's pretty- a goal related to like our channel yeah that's a resolution i want to hit 2020 in 2020 i want to hit 20,000 subscribers oh. by june <laughs> Dang, smart goal, specific, measurable, attainable, timely, and oh, I'm R. What's R? Realistic. Oh, realistic. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe the R is not right. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you yours. What's yours right now? <laughs> mhm. Mhm. I mean, here's the thing. As we were filming this video, I was just thinking to myself, like, I'm just happy that we have people that do watch us as it is. So I don't know if maybe making a goal around a sub- subscriber count is healthy because I just want to keep pushing ourselves and enjoying what we're doing and being creative and all that. Well, I think it's okay. If you have a subscriber goal, maybe that will push you to push yourself mm. you know, to make good content or whatever, right? So I think that's appropriate. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess like, you know, you said the broad ones like um, like eat healthier and um, and being uh, financially, what'd you say? Smart? I don't know what you said. Making like better that. financial decisions. 
So maybe to combine those two, um, we have a schedule of like when we eat like really nice and decadent restaurant food frequency wise. Yeah. And all other times we try to save money and also like try to eat healthier. No, I, I think that's a great one. I think 2019 was a slippery slope ever since we went to Japan. Because obviously once we were in Japan, we had that like, well, we're not going to be here that frequently. So there's no limit to our spending on food. And I think it trickled, it, like it came back with us to the States. Like I had this like, well, you're thinking like it's always been like this. It's all I know. <laughs> but don't you think this year was probably like the most? Yeah. So, I mean, I like that idea. I do want to cook more. Because mm. every time someone asks me like, you know, who's the better cook? Like at this point, Mark is the better cook. And it used to not be this way. Well, here's the thing. I only cook Korean food. That's fine. Everything else, I'm like, mm. But you're good at just cooking non-Asian food. Mm. Any more oyster left? Can I take mm -hmm. this one? Mm -hmm. You want to split this one? Mm -hmm. oh. You going to buy me a new ring? <laughs> oyster ring? No, I was going to say because you're like, mm. <laughs> I just take advantage of that. Let us know in the comments what else you guys would like to see us cook in this Ninja Foodie series? Because we have a few ideas. Is there anything in like in the back of your mind that you think we'll eventually do? Well, I, I, I kind of want to show cooking. I kind of want to use the Ninja Foodie where we have to use both in one recipe, like both the pressure cooker and the air fryer in one dish. Mm. So far we've been using it as either or. But you know how once you pressure cook something and if you need to like crisp out the outside, we could technically do that. I had no idea that was an option. The one thing that freaks me out about the, it's only for the uh, pressure cooker, but when you are done and you press that little tab thing and it goes shh, like that part's scary. Did you see my face when I... Yeah. I was it's like, the Whoa. same face every time you press that thing. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a fear... It looks like... It starts out with, like, fear, anxiety, and then it ends in relief when everything goes well. But I'm just like... It just makes me nervous. Do you think if we were... aggressive enough, we could... save money, and then in five years, is enough to buy, like, an investment property or land in Arizona or something like that. I think anything's possible. Mm. We have to be really aggressive. Mm. I just, going back, like, eating on a budget, I just don't know what that entails. Yeah. In my mind, I'm thinking, like, rice and eggs. Is that what we would eat? I mean, we can. I don't eat a bunch of ramen. Oh, top... <gasps> No, I'm thinking about like what we ate when we were in college. Like just eat top ramen for the whole month? Yeah. We will definitely save money, but we will not be looking cute. No. No. Yay, we refilled everything. <laughs> we, w we wanted to eat more, so we're like, oh, let's bring more of the oyster kimchi and bring more of our lettuce. And more and beer. Just, oh my gosh, yes. I was thirsty. I was like, yeah. James was like, no, I want more beer. I was like, yeah. Right. Oh. oh, here's to. Seems ironic. That, are you? Were you gonna say health? But then here's... I'm like, don't pour me so much because last time you got a little um, as much. I mean, in moderation, it's healthy for you, right? Huh? <laughs> is this something you would eat normally, like growing up, or is this just more like when you go to a restaurant? No, once it? in a while, yeah. My oh, okay. mom cooked this. It was actually one of my favorite dish as a kid. Oh. I love, yeah, because I, we described it earlier. I like the part where it melts mm -hmm. and the meat part. It was perfect. Mm. Not careful, you can bite off your finger. No? Just me? 
Uh, I could see that happening more if you're feeding a rap to someone. Mm, okay. Well, oh, that reminds me. One time when I um, for my dentist appointment, mm-hmm. and then they're like, okay, it's time for an X-ray, and they put oh, that no. little, they put that little plastic thing between your teeth, and then she's actually her, her hands still, you know, in, in my mouth. With that plastic piece, and she's like, "Okay, can you bite down?" And I bit down, and I bit her finger, and she's like, "Ow!" I was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry, but you said to bite down." I don't know. So ever since you did that, like, I was really careful. careful. I'm like slowly biting down. It reminds me, the dentist has been like after me for the last few months. Mm. They've been very aggressive. I felt like crazy like ex-girlfriend or boyfriend status like calling me texting me and i'm like i'm not ready to come in yet leave me alone no um and you know, i know they're doing their job but just like i'll i'll call you when i'm ready but when my schedule frees up mm. go ahead what my teeth <laughs> <laughs> so hypothetically mm. we ran out of all the salad we ran out of the the leaves, they ran out of kimchi. What what would you eat with the rest of this pork belly for anyone that ends up making this at home? Mmm! Oh! I know! Oh! Are you single ladies? I would make the Vietnamese spring rolls. Oh! With the shrimp mm. and the lettuce and the, you know, and ra- Oh yeah, that would work too. Because it's, it reminds me of it. You totally could make that. I was just thinking, I think the last few times when we had leftover pork belly, you tend to just make ramen and then we just cut in the pork belly and we use mm. it as extra like Oh, kimchi jjigae? Mmm. Mm. Getting hungry again. It's because I have no carbs. <laughs> Earlier you're like, oh, I kind of don't miss the carbs. When you eat something like this though, you really do forget that there's no like rice or carbs. You kind of don't need it. Mm-mm. Or I feel like I, you don't need carbs. <laughs> no, yeah. Maybe the beer is carbs though, right? I just pretend it's rice. <laughs> Get in my belly. Oh, oh, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> the beer or me? You. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I think you did a great job. Oh. A good way to start off the year. I know. Watch our recap video yet? I did. If you guys haven't seen our recap video, we'll leave a link to it. But it was kind of neat just to see some of the things I thought happened in 2018 was actually last year in 2019 when oh. we were putting together the montage videos. So mm-hmm. it's just like, and then, you know, we're going to be doing that all year as long as there's people here watching us. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys for our next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>